Good morning girls. Today we are going to talk about the simple present tense. Now what does that mean? It means some things which are happening at the moment or some things which are true in general. For example, it is a lovely day. Now the present tense has a format. For example, when you have I, we, you, they, then the verb does not change. For example, I read books, you read books, they read books, we read books. Okay? So the verb read does not change. But when we have he, she, it as the subject, then we have to add an s or an es to the verb that we are using. For example, I work in a shop. My brother works in a bank. They read a lot of books. He likes ice cream. You will notice that there is a subject, verb, object pattern. For example, he, subject, likes verb, ice cream, object. So, he, subject, is in the first position. Likes is in the second position and ice cream is in the third position. So it will be subject plus verb plus object. Let's do a few more examples. Uh, I live in Kolkata. My parents live in Rajarhat. It is very hot in summer. Now, you see, we will know, we will have to know when do we use the simple present tense. For example, to talk about things in general. Something which is happening all the time. For example, I play the sitar, but I don't play it very well. Bharat does his exercise daily. Number two, second rule is to express scientific facts or permanent truths. For example, the earth goes round the sun. Right? Next example, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. Third example, it doesn't rain much in Rajasthan. The third rule which we can use is in Proverbs, which have the force of permanent truths. For example, birds of a feather flock together. Example 2, it takes two to make a quarrel. Rule 4, to express natural qualities, processes, and professional activities like fruits contain lots of minerals and vitamins that is it is a natural quality second example for professional activities a dentist takes care of our teeth so it is a professional activity now we also use it for um, the adverbs like always, never, often, sometimes, usually. Right? And then we use the simple present tense. For example, Sham always arrives at work early. I usually go, to ca go by car, but sometimes I walk. My sister never has breakfast. Prakash lives near us 
but we often and we often see him. So you can see, you can also make sentences like always, right, about yourself. For example, I always try to do my homework. I never like to walk alone. I often talk to my friends. Sometimes I visit my relatives. I usually listen to music when I am alone. Right? So now you would please can you make five sentences about yourself with the simple present tense? You can also use the simple present tense when you are doing a daily schedule. As you can see in your book, you will have the routine which Anjali does. Please go through it and see what Anjali is doing. For example, you can see she gets up at 6. At 6.30 she has a shower. At 7 she has breakfast. Okay? Now, please match the pictures with the activities given on the left hand side. Please mark the pictures as 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, the use of the simple present tense can be done in various ways. For example, positive, negative and questions. Positive is, I like ice cream. And negative is, my sister doesn't like ice cream. And interrogative or question is, do you like ice cream? Right? Okay. So now, please, can you do a daily routine about yourself? Next, you can come to the rearrangement of words in a sentence. Now, when you are doing these sentences, you will need to know how to make questions. For example, the WH words usually come at the beginning, the question words as we can call them. For example, look at question 2, right? How does she go to work? How is your question word? Similarly, you can do the other questions also. Right? If you turn the page, there are some questions for the answers. As well as, you have some practice questions where you can see that the question words come in the first position. Please try and match the questions with the answers. See you soon. Have a nice day. Bye.